Today's lesson is going to be uh, talking about triangles and the angles that we uh, are going to find inside of the triangles. And so a triangle has three angles on the inside. In this case, it would be angle A, angle B, and angle C. And the sum, when you add all three angles up inside of a triangle, no matter what triangle it is, they add up to 180 degrees. And so that is called triangle sum theorem. And triangle sum theorem means that they add up to 180. Okay. And so this is going to be important. Now, it's okay if you write this down in your notes to write down it is triangle sum theorem. Is defined as triangles or angles, I should say, add up to 180. So if we know two of the angles, we should be able to find a third one pretty easy since we know what they all add up to. And so that's what our examples look like. Now notice that here it said find the measure of each numbered angle. And so there is not just one angle to find, but three angles to find. I have to find angle one. I have to find angle two. I have to find angle three. Now, in which one do I already, in which, there's, there's three triangles here, really, if you really think about it. There is the, you know, this, these two little ones we see attached to each other, which make one whole big one, right? So there's all kinds of things I can use. And this little one down here on the bottom, KML, I already know these two angles. So all three angles should add up to 180. And so I'm going to do 57 plus 71 plus angle 2 equals 180. Well, those add up to 128. 57 plus 71. All right, still plus angle 2 equals 180. And so now I minus um, 128 over, and I get 52 for angle 2. So that is one of my answers. The other thing I noticed right away is that angle 1 and angle and this 57 are beside each other, and they're on a line. They're what we call a linear pair. And so they should add to 180. And so I know already that angle 1 plus 57 equals 180. So angle 1, if I minus the 57 over, all right, equals 100. And minus 57. So 180 minus 57 is 123. Right. So that was angle 1. Right. Which means... Which means that angle 3 up here has to be the one that makes these three add up to 180. And so for that one, I'm going to do 123 plus 28, right? Plus angle three equals 180, which is 151, I believe. Let me add those two together. Plus angle three equals 180. I then have angle 3. I minus the 151. I get 29. Now, when I had for angle 3, I could have done it other ways. I had 52. I could add those two up and use the big triangle as well. I still would have got 29. 
but there will be other ways to do it. All right, but you get the same answers. All right. Which angle would you find first? To me, I would find angle seven first. Angle seven is inside this triangle. I already know that 58 plus 65 plus angle seven equals 180. And so I get 123 plus angle seven equals 180. So angle seven equals 57 degrees. Now, the next thing I would notice is the angle seven and angle five are vertical angles. So if angle seven is 57, angle five is 57. Now, I mean, four and six kind of equally the same here. Let's do four just to knock it out. I know that all three angles down here have to 180. And so I would do for a four, I would do, I already have 57. I already have 67. And I know I want to use angle four. I know they're all going to add to 180. Okay. And so that's 124. I believe when you add those two up, right? Uh, and then that's still plus angle four equals 180. And so angle four equals 56 degrees. So again, I had seven already, I had five already, and now I have four. Angle four is 56 degrees right there. Okay. Six, angle six, angle six right here is six and seven make a straight line. So they're a linear pair or five and six make a straight line. They're a linear pair. Either way, I'm going to combine 57 plus angle six equals 180. So when I subtract 57, right, I get 123. For angle six. Right. Now eight and nine. Eight and nine are tricky because there's not a lot of information, but it does have these little marks. What do those little marks mean? It means that they're congruent. And so I'm going to take 180 minus 123 because angle six is in the triangle. All right. I'm going to take 180 minus 123. I'm going to get 57. So it's 57 degrees left. I want to divide it by 2. And so angle 8 equals 28.5. And angle 9 equals 28.5. Again, triangles add up to 180. Okay. Corollaries of that, if it adds up to 180 and one of the angles is 90, all right, then the other two got to add up to 90 or they're complementary. That's a corollary to that. All right. Also, then, there can only be one angle that's a right angle or one angle that's an obtuse angle. Because two right angles would be 180, and you couldn't have a third one, right? You can't make a triangle. An obtuse angle, all right, and another obtuse angle will never close back together. So it can't two obtuse angles can't make a triangle. So a triangle can only ever have one right or one obtuse. Okay. Isosceles. This word we had before. Isosceles means it's a triangle with at least two congruent sides. 
So if it's isosceles, this side is congruent to this side. So I could mark them with two if I wanted to. So those sides are equal. Right? So that's isosceles triangle. Now we have the isosceles triangle theorem. Because these sides are equal, the angles that are opposite of those sides are also congruent or equal. All right. That means that the way to say this is base angles congruent. So the isosceles triangle theorem. Is defined as base angles congruent. So I know that if these two sides are equal, then these opposite angles are congruent. Last but not least is the exterior angle theorem. The angle on the outside here. I was just going to try to point that out. This angle on the outside is because it's linear pair with the angle right here on the inside. Well, I don't know what that angle is. But I know that A, B, and C also add up to 180. All right? So the angle on the outside is equal to the two on the inside that don't touch it added together. Again, the angle on the outside is equal to the two on the inside that don't touch it added together. The way the book says it is the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. Again, what does that mean? That means the one on the outside is equal to the two on the inside that don't touch it added together. When we're dealing with triangles. My example of this is this angle down here on the outside, 12 x plus 7 is equal to the two on the inside that don't touch it added together. So 6x minus 4 plus 65 equals 12x plus 7. That gives me 6x plus 61 equals 12x plus 7. I'm going to subtract 6x for both sides. I'm going to subtract 7 to both sides. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. Okay. And I have x equals 9. I'm kind of out of space, but I also want to point out what it asked for was the measure of angle dab. Angle dab is this angle on the outside, 12x plus 7. So to find the measure of angle dab, D-A-B, I have to plug that 9. Oops. Plug that 9 back in. 9 times 12 is 108. 9 times 10 is 90. 9 times 2 is 18. Add up to 108. All right. Plus 7 is 115. Oh, my gosh. I can't write today. Sorry. 115. One. 15. All right. And so that is my answer. It's 115 degrees for this angle DAB. Here is practice in my class. You can submit this on paper via the online portal. Let me know if you have any further questions.